night. Channel 6 News Live at 5 continues with today's Family Healthcast. Some of the temperatures we have experienced this week have been dangerously cold, but doctors at the Fremont Area Medical Center say cold isn't always a bad thing. They are using a unique form of hypothermia to actually change and save some heart patients' lives. Cerise Cole tells us about the cold chill and this health check report. When a patient goes into cardiac arrest, the heart suddenly stops. Blood flow to the brain is cut off. Time is critical. Well, if they don't restore, you know, any type of circulation of their brain within three minutes, they suffer permanent brain damage. Clinical nurse specialist Rich Pearson says this machine offers hope. It's key in a process called therapeutic hypothermia, or code chill. They've discovered that by cooling the body down, mainly the brain down, it stops that process of damaging that, that occurs uh, during that first few hours. The cooling process begins right here with two cold bags of IV fluids. Then ice bags like these are placed all along the patient's arms and legs. They also use cooling wraps like this. And you have the patient lay on that and then fold it over and put it around them like a vest. And then this fills with water and keeps them cold. Cold water from this machine cools the patient's body temperature down to 33 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The patient, who's in a deep coma during treatment, stays at that temperature for 24 hours and is monitored closely. Eventually, they're warmed up and wake up. It can take up to three days to see if it works. It increases their survival, their good survival, that is good neurological outcome, from about 40% up to 60%. I've seen people, you know, who I'd never expected to walk out of here, who walk, walk away with, and back to their job and families and... So it's a real, it's a real heartening to see that. Turning a cardiac crisis into a chilling comeback. In Fremont, with photographer Mike Plews, Cerise Cole, WOWT 6 News. 50% of heart attack patients have a cardiac arrest, but not every heart patient is a candidate for this kind of treatment. In fact, only the sickest qualify. These are usually patients who had to be resuscitated. John? 